The wire bonding tool in Altium Designer allows you to create advanced designs such as 3D stacked die in cavity with wire bonding. Uh, these types of designs are becoming more and more uh, common in high density uh, computing where you need to pack a lot of computing power and CPUs in a tiny and limited space. There are a few ways to create such a design in Altium Designer. First of all, we could uh, split this into multiple components. The first component being the finger pads and the second components are the die themselves and the die pads. So for the finger pads, uh, we can create the uh, individual finger pads and place them on the layers that they need to be. So these outer pads are on the second layer and these inner finger pads are on the third layer. And the stack die have their own footprint, which includes the 3D body and the die pads. And the next step is to create cavities. We have three cavities in this design, and so we will be creating three individual stack cups for, the, for these cavities. Uh, if we go to the layer stack manager, you'll see that we can create th three stack cups. Each one begins at uh, the next layer from the previous stack. Uh, this mode is enabled by going into the rigid flex advanced mode. And next, you can go into your board planning mode and draw the individual stacks that you'll be placing the uh, stack die. So this is my first stack with the, which will contain the outer dies. I've also named the, the stack itself and I've set a priority of it of one. And then next I've got the uh, following uh, cavity, which will be uh, priority two, will contain the inner finger pads and then the final cavity uh, stack up, which will contain the die. And next we can place our component, which is now the finger pads only like so and now we can place our stack die this is our first stack stack die i'm going to place it into this cavity here uh as you can see here it's it's floating just make sure it's assigned to the correct layer and that will be layer four and we can add in our second stack die on top of it like so 